Yo, 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 what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to my kitchen. Man, it's a great day to be alive. Sun is shining here in beautiful Texas. The birds are chirping. The homeless camp down the street relocated. And things are getting more scenic, and I'm a fan. With the summer fast approaching, we're gonna start busting out the tank tops more. We're gonna start hitting the pools and the beaches. And when that time arises, you wanna make sure you're in tip top shape. That doesn't mean hopping on some BS diet. No, 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 no. That means watching this channel, hitting that thumbs up button, following these recipes, eating good, all while seeing results, baby. I always say, the progress begins when you do. In today's video, we will be making an anabolic one pan cheesy burrito skillet. Loaded to the brim with everything you love about a beef burrito, except we prepare everything all in one pan. If you've been looking to have an anabolic dinner with the missus, or you want to have a great meal with some leftover to meal prep later, then look no further than this video, because I'm telling you, it just might change your life. And if your goal is to be summer shredded for these pool parties, you want to drop some weight, you want to build some muscle, you want the right type of weight loss. Not just burning off muscle, you need to have a high protein diet. And if you want the ultimate cookbook to do that, check out the RJF Anabolic Cookbook, man. Every recipe on my channel, broken down in an easy to use guide to tell you exactly what to do, what you gotta weigh out, the macros, the calories, it makes this entire lifestyle a pinch. And the best part is, man, you get it once, you get every future recipe I have for free. I ain't charging a double bud, I ain't. Can't do it. So hit that link in my description if you wanna check it out. So if you guys are ready to get another epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! I'm gonna go over all the ingredients right here up front. So we're making this all in one skillet. It's easier that way, so I can just add things in. You know what we're adding, and I can kind of break it down. So starting off, I got 448 grams, or a pound of 96% lean ground beef. If you're buying ground beef, this should be the only type you're buying if you're trying to live anabolic. Less fat, all the ground beef flavor, more protein, it's a win-win. I also got two low-carb, high-fiber tortillas. Higher fiber means we're gonna be fuller. They're gonna be lower calorie, less fat, and you're honestly not gonna notice a difference. This brand I'm using is La Banderita, but Mission makes a good brand too. I also have 224 grams of fat-free cheddar cheese. Once again, if you're trying to live anabolic and you're buying cheese, just buy fat-free. It works just the same, tastes really good, adds cheese to your meals, and it's just pure protein. We're also gonna need about 10 grams of diced green onions. This one's really optional. There's almost no calories in these, so you're not even gonna notice it, but it's gonna be a nice topping here. So I always have like a deli fresh thing on deck. We're gonna need 112 grams of diced white onions. Gonna add a nice kick of flavor and really do wonders to this dish. And here I have 200. 78 grams of diced tomatoes and green chilies or one of these smaller 10 ounce cans. We're gonna leave the liquid and everything in there because it's gonna work in the recipe, you'll see. Then I have 260 grams of canned low sodium black beans that I've drained and rinsed. And then the last thing that's gonna tie this all together is one packet of low sodium taco seasoning. This entire packet's about 36 grams if you're using a different taco packet, but they're all about the same, man. So we got all of our ingredients laid out. One thing we need to do before we start cooking is prep our tortillas. So all I wanna do with these is take a pair of scissors and I'm gonna cut it into strips because we're gonna layer these in and on top of our skillet. I'm telling you, the finished product on this is amazing. I have people begging me on Instagram, to get this in the cookbook ASAP. So it's there now, man. If you got it, get your free updated copy. And I'm gonna do the same with our other tortilla, but I'm gonna keep them in separate piles because, I mean, you'll see what we're doing with them. Or we'll be basically be splitting them up. So I like to do it this way. You don't gotta, but I think it helps. All right, and now that all our ingredients are prepped and ready, it's time to cook. Let's go. We'll start by preheating a skillet to a medium high heat. And if you got one with a lid, we're gonna use that. You don't need it, but it'll make it look prettier in the end if you're trying to take a picture for the gram. This lid is a lot like me with a hat. I ain't leaving home without it. So the first thing we'll do, hit it with nonstick, and I'm gonna toss in our white onions. I'll just go in and space these out a bit. Then I'm gonna toss in my ground beef. Come on, you squirrely, get in there. And then now I'm just gonna go in and chop my beef up into tinier little pieces and let it cook through until it's brown. And once our beef and onions are brown, we'll take our taco seasoning packet, dump it right in here, followed up by our black beans and our tomatoes and green chili. And then now all I'm gonna do is go in and stir everything together. Make sure that taco seasoning hits every corner of this. Spread those beans out, those chilies out. You might notice at this point it looks a little watery, but don't worry, man. We're gonna let her thicken up, I promise. And once we got everything mixed up, I'm just gonna reduce that heat to about a medium and I'm gonna let it sit and simmer for about three to four minutes. I'm gonna stir it about every minute and while it's sitting here simmering, it's gonna thicken up and uh, be a real treat. Trust me, this is gonna be delicious. 
And after a few minutes, you can see it thickened up quite a bit. So that's right how we want it. Now what I'm gonna do is take my tortilla strips, spread them out a little bit. And this is half of them, mind you, we're saving the other half. And the same thing with our cheese, I'm gonna take about half of my cheese, put it on here as well. Then I'm gonna go in and stir our tortillas and our cheese evenly into this whole mixture. Gonna thicken it up even more and spread some of that flavor throughout the entire dish. And now that we got this stirred in, incorporated, thickened up, we're gonna take our other tortilla, sit it on top, evenly space out all of our strips. And then once we've done that, we'll take the rest of our cheese, sprinkle it around on top. And once the cheese is laid out, I'm just gonna spread out some of my green onions on here to add a little bit of color and some awesome flavor. And then now I'm just gonna put the cover on for a few minutes, gonna let that steam build up in there, melt that cheese. And then ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna be feasting. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I present to you the anabolic one pan cheesy beef burrito skillet. It's literally got everything you'd want in a beef burrito, but in a perfect, easy to clean up, anabolic, high protein, high fiber recipe. And let me show you how cool this recipe is, man. You basically just go in, carve out a piece of it, almost like a pizza. Then you get in underneath of it, you just lift her up, man. Whoosh. Son, son, the tomatoes, the cheese, the beans, the tortillas down in, tortillas on top. I mean, you can hit that thumbs up button right now. You know you'd smash this. Seriously, folks, this is one of the best recipes I've ever made on this channel. Let's get her on a cutting board and get a closer look. And boom, this is what it looks like plated up, or I should say cutting boarded up. All the goodness of a beef burrito, normally a food that we would have to avoid if we were trying to lose weight, but the way we tweaked it, the way we made it, the ingredients we used, this is a food that we can not only love, but eat and see results, lose weight, build muscle, and live our best lives all at the same time. If you made it this far into the video, guys, a subscription would be great if you just hit that subscribe button and that bell. Thumbs up, I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, throw that out of bed either. And maybe a comment, does this look great? Are you gonna make it, go make it, come back and comment, what'd you think? All right guys, I am starving, so I think it's time to pull up a chair, strap on the old feed bag and try this thing together. You guys ready? Let's go. Let's get this show started, man. Before we go, I need a little bit of energy. So I'm gonna take a partial scoop of Final Boss Pre, not a full scoop, not this late in the day. Be up all night if we do that. Mm -mm. Oh. Basically, if you have trouble getting motivated to go to the gym, you need a little pick-me-up, right? You want a better pump, more vascularity, Final Boss Pre will get you there. Available at FinalBossFormance.com. Code RGF10 will save you 10%. All right, man, let's hop right into this. This is um half of the recipe right here. The other half, I'll put in Tupperware and eat later. Might be tomorrow, might be later on tonight, depending on how I'm feeling. Okay, let's get a bite. Oh my goodness, we got the tortilla, we got the cheese, we got all the innards, a little bit of everything, baby. Three, two, one, let go. I can't even begin to sing the praises of this recipe enough. Literally, it's like biting into a beef burrito, except in like a casserole form. You get it by the slice, and you absolutely do not need sauce or anything like that. I mean, you could put hot sauce on top if you wanted, but just by itself, it's exceptional. And the way all the flavors just come together, you got the beans, the taco seasoning, the onions, the tomatoes and green chilies, the tortilla, the cheese, truly is something to behold. Mm. Now in this entire recipe, if you make it exactly how I did it, what you end up with for the whole skillet is 1,646 calories, only 22 grams of fat, 206 grams of protein, 156 grams of carbs, 64 grams of fiber. So with me eating half, that's roughly 820 calories, about 10 grams of fat, 103 grams of protein, 75 grams of carbs, 30 grams of fiber. So my goal being to hit 200 grams of protein a day, I'm knocking out half of it right here. My fiber goal a day is like 30, I'm knocking it out right here, all while keeping that fat low and keeping those calories low. And to be honest, half of this recipe is a lot of food. And the amount of fiber we get here in protein, I am going to be stuffed after, fueled up for quite a while. But feel free, split this into four servings, split it into eight. I always try to stress that. We all got different nutritional needs. After I shoot these videos, I eat big meals right before because I gotta edit for hours. And I don't wanna stop my edit to go eat something. So I can eat something like this, go hold me over until the evening. Hit that calorie goal, ladies and gentlemen, and you'll be just fine. Ooh, I am full, but we are down to the final bite. Let's go. 
Mm, I'm a level with you. If you were looking for a real food recipe that doesn't require any protein powder, we're not loading in egg whites or anything, it's just like real food through and through, this uh, might be your next favorite recipe because for me, man, this is, uh, you, you can't beat this. If they served me this at a restaurant and didn't tell me it was healthy, I'd go back and order it again. It is that good. And if you got the RJF cookbook, man, it's been updated. So this recipe is in there with step-by-step -step instructions, what to weigh out, the macros, the calories, everything you need to succeed. If you're wanting to make a change in your life and you want to go to eat foods that you love, Love, right? You want to be able to actually live a life worth living while you're dieting and losing weight, man. Something like this cookbook or the recipes on this channel, it's never been easier. Plus, you get it once, you're going to get all my future recipes for free. So get down there, bud. Live a little. Appreciate you guys, as always, for checking the channel out. Smash the thumbs up button for me. Comment anything down below. It all helps the algorithm. Subscribe if you are not subscribed. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I will see each and every one of you at the next video. See you guys. All right, I ain't leaving that. We ain't leaving that. Mmm, wow, just wow.